Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Polina. I'm a designer and I make vector cutting files that you can use with your cutting machine, like Silhouette, Cricut or a laser cutter or any other type of cutting machine that works with EPS, DXF or SVG file formats. The topic of today's video is how to cut those trendy layer designs if you use the free Silhouette Studio software working with the DXF files only. I know there are many tutorials on this topic for cutting SVGs, but I was reached out by a customer facing some difficulties when working with the DXF files and I couldn't quickly find a tutorial for her, so I decided to make one. Couple of things before we start. Below the video I will put some links for your convenience and this is a disclaimer. Some of them might be affiliate links which means that if you make a purchase by following the link I will get a small commission at no additional cost for you. So, you will find links to my two shops where I sell digital downloads, one on Etsy and one on Design Bundles. You will find an affiliate link for my listing with the file I'm showing in this video, the layered mandala cat file. And you will also find the link to my Facebook group dedicated to any kind of cutting project where you can share your finished pieces, you can ask questions, get inspired and have fun. So you are welcome to join. The best thing is that it doesn't matter what kind of machine you're using or what kind of material you're using, you are all invited. Of course, I'm also putting links to my Facebook page, to my Pinterest account and to my Instagram account if you would like to follow me. Okay, now on the topic, uh, I'd like to start with some important things about the files and specifically about the layer designs. First of all, this is a question I often get and I'm using the opportunity to answer it up front. When purchasing a layer design from me, you will receive a file containing the layers all together and not separate files for each level. layer. I'm sorry. The reason for this is that if you get the layers separated, it will be too difficult or even impossible for you to resize the image proportionally, as the layers don't have the same size. So you might end up with layers that don't look correct and the result won't match the pictures of the listing and you will be upset. In this video, I will show you how to handle this. The second important thing regarding the file in order for this method to work is that the layers have to be exported in different colors. If the file is exported with more than one layer in the same color, you won't be able to separate the different layers, at least not this way, uh, the way that I'm showing you. If it happens that you buy any of my files and face this kind of issue, please send me a message and I'll quickly fix it for you. Now let's dive in. On my screen, you see the layer design we'll be working with. This is my test cut and this is how my finished piece looks. This one I've made with my laser cutter from chipboard, but you can always use cardstock and get a different look by using different colors for the different layers. It's totally up to you. Now, let me switch to Silhouette Studio. Just give me a second, please. Okay, now you should be seeing my Silhouette Studio uh, and uh, you could see that I have opened the layered cat mandala file. Okay, at the moment it looks like a total mess and you don't want to cut it this way uh, because you'll end up with a million pieces of cardstock or vinyl and not with any layers. So what you need to do is the following. The first thing, the first thing to do is to resize your image with the layers all together. So you select everything with your mouse and resize the image. Let's make it smaller. Like this is like uh, around nine inches, I think. Okay, you resize it. And you can click on the canvas, so you, you can deselect uh, the layers. Okay, now what you need to do is go here on the top. On this little icon, it says select by color. You click on it and you see this new menu that opens here on the right hand side of your screen. It shows five 
different colors for the five different layers. And from now on, it's really, really easy to make it. You just select the first color, you go and make edit, cut, you create a new file, new drawing, and you paste it here. And it looks good. You go back, again select by color, and now you have only four layers here, so you select the next one, right mouse button, cut, new drawing, paste. We have the second layer, you go back, select by color again. I'm not sure, ah yes, it takes some time to uh, refresh, so we select the third color. Cut, new drawing, paste, we have the third layer and now we'll, we will have to do this one more time for the fourth layer. Select by color, we need to wait, oh no, there are two, ok, cut, new file, paste and we are done. You have five layers in the file, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> in the five tabs, and you can cut them one by one. So it's as easy as that. Regarding the size, just want to make uh, one thing clear. When designing my layered files, I usually make them around 8 by 8 inches or 8 inches uh, on the longer side. When I do this, I'm make making the thinnest lines of the design around one tenth of the inch thick. Let's find the more intricate layer. It's this one. This one has the thinnest, thinnest lines uh, of all. So, if you would like to test uh, your design, if uh, it can be cut correctly by your machine. I recommend that you start with this layer because it has the thinnest lines. If you can cut this, then you, you will be able to cut everything else. So basically that's it from me today. I hope you liked it and see you next time. Bye!